John J. Muth's The Mythology of an Abandoned City is a neglected work by him. I discovered it on the, in the pages of Epic Magazine in 1983. Epic was a much lighter heavy metal publication with mostly science fiction and fantasy stories. I enjoyed both very much. And when I saw this story by Muth, I was quite taken. I won't describe too much about this story. I think the images are quite stark and quite beautiful. Over the decades, I've gone back to the story. And every time I reread it, I'm still not clear as to what has happened. It is very much like a dream and a nightmare. I say a dream because many of the images are quite beautiful and nightmares are not supposed to be beautiful. Although it is a fantasy story, the backdrop is the Cold War. And one thinks of Berlin, Germany, East and West. And you think of the films. since the 30s, notably Fritz Lang. You may notice the actor, I mean the protagonist, who looks like the actor, Anthony Hopkins. Fade to Grey <laughs> reminds me of the song by Visage, one of my favorite songs from that, from that era. The story reminds me of the Greek mytho mythological story of Orpheus and Eurydice. That's only about half of the story. When I discovered that it was a trade, I picked it up. Because over the years, I was going back to my epic magazines, which I have still somewhere. It's a haunting story. And again, overlooked and neglected. Around the same time, I was reading another story, also with the Cold War as a background. Mike Rail's John Sable Freelance, published by First Comics. Here, it's the Berlin Wall. John Sable is a man for hire but his day job is an author of children's stories. Mike Grell was known for Warlord, doing artwork for Green Arrow and the Legion of Superheroes. 
But the stories I always go back to are John Sable. In this story, there's a, a defector, a Russian dancer from the Soviet Union. And he wants John Sable to go across and get his wife. John Sable's lover questions Sable's reason for doing it, which is money. Sable's character was a Vietnam veteran. He had his ideals were gone. My girl was really good in the writing of this book. In this passage, she asked, Have you killed many people? John Sable says, Yes. How many? she says. I don't know. That's a lot, she says. Grell was very cinematic in the story. And the rest of the issue has very little, if any, dialogue, whereby John Sable goes to Germany and attempts to find the wife of the ballet dancer. Her name is Anastasia. Again, this is also a work that grails, by grail, that I think is often overlooked. I think the ish, the comic ran for over 50 issues. Grail writing most of those, I mean writing all of those and drawing most of them. Wonderful work. And again, the backdrop is the Cold War. In both of these stories, one utter fantasy, the other one adventure and reality, but both grounded in reality. Very much like The Third Man, screenplay by Graham Greene, made into a wonderful movie starring Joseph Cotton and Orson Welles, which is the beginning of the Cold War in Vienna. And then Jean Le Carré's The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, which was also made into a movie starring Richard Burton and Claire Bloom. Again, The, mytholo the Mythology of an Abandoned City by John J. Muth. John Sable Freelance, Issue 14 by Mike Rail.